happy sunshine! Hello, my happies! How's it going? Today we're going to be reading Green is a Chili Pepper, a Book of Colors by Roseanne Greenfield Thong, illustrated by John Bada. Okay, let's begin. Red is a ristra, red is a spice, red is our salsa on top of rice. Red is a ribbon, red is a bow and skirts for baile folklorico. Orange are marigolds on Day of the Dead. Orange are the platos for special bread. Yellow is masa we use to make tortillas, tamales, and sweet corn cakes. Yellow are the stars that lighten the night. Yellow are the faroles flickering bright. Green are the corn stalks. Green are the pails. Green is a bench for abuelas' tails. Green is a chili pepper, spicy and hot. Green is cilantro inside our pot. Blue is the endless sky above and handmade crafts for those I love. Purple are the rides that swirl and spin, and the feria prizes that we win. Pink are the adornos and candles that glow. Pink are piñatas. Watch out below! Brown is a churro, warm and sweet, and homemade chocolate, a special treat. White are the flowers we put in a vase, and sugar skulls and homemade lace. Oh, que bonito, mami. Ah, si. White are the doves that chatter and coo, and the palomitas for me and you. The world is a rainbow of wonder and fun, <laughs> ribbons of colors rolled into one. In ponchos, serapes, and xylophones too, these beautiful colors are waiting for you. Here are some words that you may have not recognized in the story. Abuela means grandmother. Adornos means decorations. Baile folklorico, which means Mexican folk dancing, known for heel stumping and swirling skirts. Each part of Mexico has different dance customs, which can include ribbons, bows, fancy hair pieces, shawls for women, and colored ties, belts, wide brim hats, and boots for men. Calaveras, sugar skulls given as a gift or token of love and placed on family altars for the day of the dead. The skulls made of hard compacted granulated sugar are decorated with colored sugar frosted and often have names on the foreheads. Chiles. Chiles come in many colors including green, red, orange, yellow, and purple. Two popular green chiles are poblanos and jalapeños. Chocolate. Mexican is the birthplace of chocolate, pronounced chocolate in Spanish. The ancient Aztec enjoyed it as a hot drink mixed with vanilla and chile pepper. Later, Europeans sweetened it by adding sugar and milk and removing the pepper. Mexican chocolate comes in bars, discs, syrup, and powder, and used in special meat sauce called mole. Churros, long, thin, dough-like snacks that are fried until crunchy and sprinkled with cinnamon sugar. Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead. On the 1st and 2nd of November every year, to remember and honor the dead, 
Cemetery graves are decorated with bright marigold flowers, candles, and a sweet bread called pan de muertos. Faroles are lanterns made of colorful paper with a lit candle inside. They are used for nine nights before Christmas during the posadas, or processions through the village. When participants stop at different homes to sing carols and enjoy food. Feria. Held during holidays, ferias are carnivals that often include rodeos, rides, food stalls, and game booths for winning prizes. Masa, a cornmeal dough used for foods like tamales and tortillas. Marimba, a Mexican xylophone with wooden keys played by several musicians at the same time by hitting the wooden keys with mallets. Nowadays, toy xylophones are made with rainbow colored keys. Ojos de Dios, or God's eyes. Ancient symbols made by weaving colored yarn around two crossed sticks. The center of the eye is made when a child is born. Each year, a bit of yarn is added until the child turns five, at which point the eye is complete. Palomitas, meaning little doves, it is also the word for popcorn, probably because the puffed white kernels sound like flapping wings when they fly out of a pot. Pan de muertos. This sweet bread, known as bread of the dead, is baked specially for Day of the Dead. It is often shaped like a skull and covered with frosting to resemble skeleton bones. Piñatas, containers made with paper mache covered with colorful paper and filled with candy or toys. Breaking a hanging piñata is a favorite party game. Blindfolded children take turns hitting it with a stick until the treats drop to the ground. Piñatas come in different shapes like animals, trucks, soccer balls, unicorns, and cartoon characters. Platos are plates or serving dishes. Ponchos are a blanket-like coat with a hole for the head worn over the shoulders. Ristra Bundles of red chiles, known as ristras, often hang on long strings in Mexican kitchens. They are used for flavoring and making sauce or salsa. Serrate, a large rectangular piece of wool cloth worn around the shoulders or used as a blanket. Serrapes usually have dark backgrounds with brightly colored stripes and fringe on the ends. Tamales, packets of steamed cornmeal dough, often filled with meat or cheese wrapped in corn husk or banana leaves. Tortillas, a thin flat circle of pressed cornmeal cooked on a griddle. Here are some colors you may have not recognized in the book. Rojo means red. Naranja means orange. Amarillo means yellow. Marón means brown. Verde means green. Azul means blue. Rosa means pink. Blanco means white. Purpura means purple. Thanks for watching and reading along. Please subscribe and like for more fun with reading.